Yeah, she wanna take a peek up the other side. Street lights and traffic bumper to bumper night. Check the list, the club is jumping on something to make my stomach feel like someone gave me the wrong prescription. I'm not calling it addiction, cause this is lit and I'm fixing to call an Uber, cause this is what all of you have been missing. Hard for you to just listen. Guarantee this is the definition of better opportunities. Why I've been wishing. To leave, there's bigger things to see. And then she looks at me, with tears on her cheeks. I say she from a small town. She say she wanna hit the big city, but everything ain't pretty like a small town. She said she rather have skyscrapers instead of some nice neighbors like a small town. Guarantee she gon' come back. Memories gonna come back Small towns are the one that Are still around when you run back Yeah, I seen that at the market Exchanging small talk, phone tucked in the pocket Guess it's true what they say about grassroots Let an elder lady get the last fruit Bad too, eyes gazing as she passed through Coming at her with a punchline is a bad move yeah, she too down to earth to play I know it hurt when I heard her say she say she from a small town She say she wanna hit the big city But everything ain't pretty like a small town She said she rather have skyscrapers Instead of some nice neighbors like a small town Guarantee she gon' come back Memories gonna come back Small towns are the one that Are still around when you run back Oh shit, you scared me. Why didn't you answer your phone? Because it died, man. The battery sh That's why I gave you the charger. Yeah, I know, Ben, but I can't find it anywhere. Sorry, were you, uh... I thought you'd be asleep. I couldn't sleep because I was wondering what happened to you. Oh, I told you I was going out. Who were you with? I told you, with Jenny and Carrie. I don't believe you. Are you serious? Are you starting this again? I don't trust you. Well, that sounds like a YP, your problem. What? Don't walk away from me. Well, I have to go to the bathroom, you psycho. Just tell me who you were with. Ben, I'm sick of your I'm sicker of yours, lying through your goddamn teeth. You're such an asshole. I told you who I was going out with. There is no one else. You're the one who cheated. That was three years ago, and now you're finally getting back at me for it. Just admit it. The only thing I'll admit is that I have the biggest taste in men. Can you stop with the zingers for a second? And just be honest with me for a minute if you think you're capable of that? 
You want honesty, Ben? Okay, I'll give it to you. You're a pathetic loser, Ben. With no direction. You're what? A musician? Oh, but no, now wait, now you're getting your psychology degree. Oh, but wait, now you're taking acting classes, but that didn't quite work out well, right, DiCaprio? And now you're what? Painting houses again on the side? Serving coffee? Investing in crypto? Real solid, Ben, real solid. And you're a narcissist. A lying narcissist obsessed with yourself. You don't consider anyone else's feelings but your own. Why do you act all so sensitive when it's about you, but you're completely insensitive and oblivious when it's about anybody else? I'm not oblivious. I see things. All I ever wanted from you, ever, was just to, to be respected a little bit and appreciated. Yeah, and all I ever wanted from you was for you to be stable. For us to have a relationship that felt safe. For you to actually be there when things get rough. And you can't give me any of that. You're saying I'm irresponsible? Who's the one on probation at work because she failed the drug test? Yeah. Well, you kind of need to have an actual job for that to happen, huh? I can't do this anymore. I can't either. Fine, I'll go to my sister's then. Stop. You don't have to. I'm sorry. need to break up. I completely agree. So, how are we gonna do it this time? I think we just need to be totally honest with one another. I completely agree. All right, I'll go first. Um... I've been trying to make this work, even though I know deep down we just can't. That's not honesty, that's just facts. Fine, you go then. What do you want me to say? Just admit that you're seeing someone else. You're paranoid and delusional. This won't work if you keep holding back. I know that, I'm not an idiot. Then stop acting like one. No, you know what? I don't want you to hear. Stop being a drama queen. I'll just stay on the couch. No, Ben. I said I do not want you here. Go to Alex. It's late. The trains are now. Okay, fine. Then get an Uber. It's Saturday. There's surge pricing. Thanks for your hospitality. Five stars.
Good for who, Ben? I mean, she's in the hospital. They don't know how she's going to react to this new treatment. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. We fought so much in the past, and I don't want her to think that I. So what do you think? Nice, right? It's, uh, used. Well, like, gently used. It's basically new. It's so comfortable. Come try it out. There's a stain. No, there isn't. Right there, Ben. God damn it. Is anything I do ever good enough for you? Oh, right. I'm a diva because I don't want a cum-stained couch with bedbugs. That's not cum. This better be good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey. And you smell like one, two, or a shoe, or a poo. Thank you. That's all a girl could ever ask. Be compared to a stinky primate and a shit shoe. I'm getting slobbered on. You love it. All right, make a wish. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out! Get out! I'm not going anywhere! This is my apartment! Get away from I me! I just want to talk about it! Get out! Coffee. You want the usual? Yeah, thanks. Ben. If we're gonna do this, we really need to make it stick. You literally read my mind. Um, I do have an idea. Lay it on me. I think we need neutral ground. Like the Super Bowl. Right. Good reference. Um, I think we need a place with no emotional connections or attachments. Just somewhere where we can lay it all out. I mean, I realize the problem is that we keep leaving a little window open, and then one of us always tries to patch things up. But if we're honest with each other, brutally honest, then... Yeah, I could be into this. We have to swear to say everything. And we need to make a pact that whatever dark whatever that we reveal, we take it to our graves. Sounds pretty grave. We have to hate each other by the end of this. Got a nice head start. I'm 
you serious? Because all this stuff about our families loving one another and how- we... Your family loves me. I don't know how my family feels about you. And how hard it's going to be to find new apartments and how our history is so rich. It's lengthy, Ben. It's not a baked by Melissa. Okay. Yes, okay. Sorry. Let's do this last trip of misery. That's the spirit. I'll check some Airbnbs, see what's popping. Word. My girlfriend and I are heading upstate today, and um, yeah, I know it's short notice, that's why I uh, suggested a call, um, just to see if uh, you're available and... Um... Was the line like really long? Uh, yeah. Um, so I uh, spoke with the place and they had availability, so... I booked it. It's ours. No turning back now. What? Nothing. Just a little cold. It's okay. Thank you. Enjoy it. Probably the last one you're ever getting from me. Ben, it doesn't have to be the last one. I mean, I can always come to your coffee shop and you can serve me coffee. I'll start getting my stuff ready. What stuff? You wear the same two shirts every day. Steve Bannon's taint. Gross. Whatever. What? It's my sister. So why don't you answer it? Because she's a pain in my ass and she's so goddamn long winded. True. She probably just wants to tell me about her OK Cupid day or borrow a sweater or something. Wait, people still use that? I don't know. She does. She would. Shut up. 
fine by me. Honey, we're home. What are you doing? Whizzing, do you mind? I've had it. the opposite actually hmm? we're not trying to trick or outsmart one another oh right because unfair advantage right we're just trying to be as transparent as possible we need to make the strongest case as to why we should never see each other again counselor opening arguments Oh, come on, baby. You're a shitty person. All right, let me amend that. You're actually a good-hearted person, but you're extremely shitty to me. It's like you take all of your frustration in life out on me. I don't do that to you. I mean, if you care about someone, if you love them, then you find other ways to relieve your stress or whatever. I thought we were going to say things about ourselves in an honest way. I honestly believe that. Okay, I see how you want to play this. Good. So are you done? Nope. You know what the number one thing that bothers me about you is? It's that you think you're superior. It's like you think only your stylish way of dressing is the only thing that's acceptable. That your super underground indie music is the only thing that has any value. It's like even your refined manner of eating, of chewing, you look down on people that you don't think are as, like, sophisticated as you. Yeah, well, it's not my fault if you have a taste in music. There it is, right there. Don't you see how hurtful your words can be? How insensitive they are? Oh, come on, Ben. You're the man. You're supposed to be tough. I love how you're so woke and all that. But still, deep down, you believe in all this gender role. It's not like I believe in it as a rule. I just know what I find attractive in men. Okay. Then why don't you tell me what turns you on? Tell me... Who you find attractive? Tell me who you're cheating with. I don't want to sound like a broken MP3, Ben, but you're a You're weak and you're insecure and you're the you're the one who takes your frustration in life out on me. You're so dense. I mean, you may legit not even notice. You're passive aggressive. I'm at least honest about what I'm thinking. Yeah, and you have no filter. The only other person I ever met like you was my grandmother, and she was 90 and dying of emphysema. Well, smoke him if you got him. You just don't think about how your words can affect someone else. It is when that someone is me. Okay, Ben, yeah. I'm such a she-wolf raging Is that why you cheated? God, how many times do we have to go over this? Well, as many as we need, since you're still projecting and accusing me. It was one time. That's all it took. Then why didn't you just leave me then? Why did we stay together? Because you begged me to come back. Ring a bell? Because I believed in... In what? In us in our love. 
If you believed in our love, you wouldn't have cheated. It's as simple as that. I mean, I tried to look past it, but obviously the damage was too deep. And I'm sorry, but with all that was happening with my mother, that was really timing then. Sorry to be so unfiltered. Should I keep going? It's not necessary. Oh, I see. So now we're done. Wow, we could have done this while waiting for the L. Where are you going? What are you doing? What is that? What's it look like? It looks like you brought Coke to our breakup seminar. You are correct, sir. Why in the seven hells would you do that? I don't know. I, I feel like it helps us be more open with one another. And I feel like you just wanted an excuse to get high. Maybe. So, you down? Ow, what? Don't be cocky. You got lucky. I sure did. You're such an idiot. That's why you love me. It's probably the owners. Just let me check. Hi, sorry to bother you, but Jesus, this is annoying. My car broke down just up the road, and this was the first house I found, so. Oh, um, do you need, uh. Actually, my phone died, so I couldn't call anybody. Would you mind if I use yours? Hey, yeah, sure, no problem. You can use mine. I'm Yasmina, this is Ben. Come in. Thank you both so much. I'm Jeremy. I pulled up some auto body places nearby. You two are lifesavers. <laughs> oh, this one's actually pretty close. Hi. My car broke down on Route 31. Just by the road. What road are we on? Oh, um... This place is uh, 39 Birch Street. Birch That's Street? Mm-hmm. You can't miss it. All right. See you soon. Well, that was easy. You're sending someone now to give me a tow. Thank you both so much. Ads. Don't worry about it. Um, I mean, you probably want to get going. You don't want to miss them, right? Oh, yeah. Um, they said they're running a little late. Could be about 20 minutes or so, but yeah, you're right. No, I'll just... No, that's crazy. It's freezing outside. You can stay inside. I don't want to be in any trouble. You two have already done so much. I said it's cool. You can stay here. What she says goes, so... I'm having some wine. Anybody want? Jeremy? Yeah, I'll have a glass. Thank you. It's not like you're gonna be driving, right? Ben? I didn't think we had that much left.
What, you thought I was gonna do this sober? Here stood the highways and byways that get us to where we're going. What does that mean? I don't know, just drink up. So what are you guys doing here? Just want a little break from the city. Oh, cool. What about you, Jeremy? What are you doing in these parts? I actually live in the next town over. Woodsville? I was out running some errands. Sounds woodsy. So, what do you do? I mainly work as a handyman. So, you must be pretty handy. Uh, yeah, I guess you can say that. What about you two? For work. I'm in digital ad sales for a publishing company, and um, Ben here is figuring things out. I'm actually uh, a barista at the number one coffee place in Williamsburg. I bet you make a mean latte. Mm, his cortados are to die for. Also, I paint houses, among other things. I mean, I do other things. I don't paint other. Cool. So you two are a couple, I take it? That would be the reasonable assumption, right? But uh, no, not really. So just like friends? That's not something we really want to get into right now. Forgive me, I was just curious. You are very pretty, Yasmina. Why? Thank you, Jeremy. It's nice to be appreciated. Um, so you probably want to get going. You don't want to miss that toe, right? Nah, there's still plenty of time. Time for what? To get to know each other better? I mean, I don't know if that's really necessary. You're going to be leaving soon, so... Oh, come on. It'll help pass the time. Whenever I meet new people, I always do this thing. I learned it at camp. Where we tell each other a story about ourselves. All right, I'll go first. When I was a kid, my family would always go to Cape Cod for the summer. We'd be there every 4th of July to see the fireworks show, eat some good food, you know, the whole shebang. Anyway, we're there one summer and it is really, really hot, especially out there on the beach. My family's coming in and out of the water, sitting under the umbrella, playing beach games. All the while, I am sweating my ass off. And my father can tell that I'm getting uncomfortable, so he looks at me and he says, Jeremy, it's 100 degrees out. Take off your long sleeve shirts. But I won't do it. He keeps telling me to take it off, so I just ignore him. Time passes and he's getting really annoyed now because I just won't budge. So now my family starts getting involved. And they start egging me on to the point where, you know, I'm almost about to cry. So I do it. I take off my shirt. Now everybody can see that I have this raging case of poison ivy all over my arms, which isn't that weird because well, I grew up around here. So as a kid, I'd play in the forest, climb trees, build forts, all that stuff. I just didn't want them to know. I guess I didn't want them to make a fuss. My father looked me in the eyes and he said, you can't worry about inconveniencing other people when you're hurt. 
You gotta take care of yourself and screw everyone else. It uh, was a lesson I never forgot, so. What? Too personal? No, it... It was great. Alright, who's next? Any takers? Fine, let's do something else. You two have already done so much for me, there must be something I could do for you. Like, what? Well, it's been said that I give the best back massages around. Five star rating on Yelp. Would you like one? All right, man, that's enough. It's time for you to go. I don't think so. You see, we were just getting comfortable. Right, Yasmina? Uh, yeah, man, you don't wanna miss the tow truck. They'll be here soon, you should go. I think I'm good. You see, they said they'd be here in about 30 minutes. Maybe it was an hour. I don't remember. All right, you made your point or whatever. It's time for you to leave now. I don't think so. What? Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I mean, I don't feel a pulse. Are you, are you doing it right? Okay, but wait, wait, we have to stay calm. Calm? We just killed a person. We? Are you kidding me, Ben? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. We're in this together, okay? No, not okay, but yeah. Okay, what do we do? We call the police. No, Jeff, it's not that bad! No, guys, we can't call the police. Why not? I mean, he came in here, this, whatever, this house, and he attacked us. I know, but I've seen enough SVUs to know that they're going to question us, and they're going to test us for drugs. I have a record. Why the hell did you bring Goku here, you idiot? I wasn't anticipating us killing some douche. Okay, just, maybe there's a chance we can just walk away from yeah, you walk, I sprint. What does that mean? That even if I don't go to jail, if my work finds out that I'm on record being high and that I'm involved in this, what is this, mass slaughter? They'll fire my ass. And then who the hell is gonna hire me, huh? Uh, 
Okay, wait, just let me think. Wait a minute. Nobody knows that he's here. Yeah. Yeah, no, he didn't actually call the tow truck. Good. Okay, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking... I mean, this guy seems like a complete psycho. Like somebody's got a record. Oh, right, like me. No, not like you. Like someone who's actually dangerous. Probably been to prison. Like his enemies and... Someone not a lot of people will miss. So you're thinking, like, we should burn the body? What? No, burn the body? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, we should just take him to his car and leave him there. Yeah. Yes, that makes more sense. I don't think any neighbors can see us from here. Wait, let me check. Yeah, coast is clear. Thank God you picked such a remote spot. Yeah, well, I just wanted some privacy in case we started yelling. Or you wanted to off me. Right. All right, let's figure out how to get him out of here. Well, it doesn't have to be complicated. I'll just take the feet, you take the arms, and whoop, we carry him out like roadkill. What if somebody drives by and sees us? Maybe. Oh! I know. Yes, we can have birdies him! Yeah, exactly. But you know, no sunglasses. All right, come on, just let's prop him up on our shoulders. You go on that side. Oh, oh my god, he's heavy! Alright, okay. Okay? Good. It just looks kind of, um, like wasted. Sure. Alright, come on, just try again. Wait! Oh my god! Yeah. Kira. Kira, what are you doing here? No, no, no. I am asking the questions first. What happened? Kira, we told you. He came in here asking for help for his car, and then he just attacked us. Okay, got that part. But why is he not alive? Great question, Kira. We just said he attacked us. We were just defending ourselves. Yaz didn't mean to kill him. Oh, okay, so it's Yaz killed him no. again. You know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. All right, whatever. <laughs> What were you just, like, doing with him? We were just moving him back to his car. By the way, don't you knock before bursting into someone's place? Sorry, wasn't expecting to cash you to commit crimes. We didn't commit any crimes. All right, that's enough. Kira, I'm going to ask you again. What the f*** are you doing here? What? Then I asked Kira to come. Wait, why would you do that? What, is like a character witness against me or something? No. I contacted Kira like six months ago. Why? We were fighting nonstop and I... I don't know, I was just looking for some answers. Why didn't you just talk to me? Because I tried, Ben, a million times. I just really needed another person's perspective. So you hit up my ex? And just relax. What did you want, breakup tips? No, I wanted some insight, maybe, on why you are the way you are. And how am I? An indecisive child. Okay. Can we fast forward to why she's here now? What? 
Take a goddamn chill pill. Okay. So, um... We met for a drink to talk about you. And we realized that we had a lot in common. Like a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is who you've been seeing? Okay, Ben. I knew it, I knew you were cheating. Okay, wait a second. You are a goddamn liar. Oh, come on, be mature about it. I am not a liar. Oh, you're not? No, I told you explicitly, I am not seeing any other man. You literally never said that. Okay, whatever. I, you never said you liked women. Because I didn't before, we just really connected. Of all the vaginas in the old world, you had to walk into my exes. Ben, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. It wasn't on purpose. I did not mean to hurt you. Yeah, just like you didn't mean to hurt him. Okay, can we talk about this calmly? I still don't get it. Why did you have her come here now? For a ride back. Well, it would have been an awkward as fuck ride back with you. We agreed to come here together and to leave together. Yeah, I know, Ben, but we also agreed to make it stick. And I knew that if you saw me and her together, you would get the message. Yeah. Loud and clear, Yaz. Okay, that's enough. You two are obviously... Nah. I don't know. You still have plenty of shit to work out, that's pretty clear. But now probably isn't the best time for a couple's therapy. Look, I understand you're both very upset. But you're obviously not thinking clearly. I'm calling the police. No, Kira, you're not. Excuse me? Kira, look, Yaz and I did some coke before. We can't just have the cops rolling up in here. You're doing drugs again? No, I'm not doing drugs. We just did some drugs. There is a difference. It's true, there is. Okay, great. Not arguing that with you, but I also am not going to be an accessory to whatever it is you're planning on doing here. We're just moving him back to the car. And I sure as shit I'm not participating in this. What are we going to do? I told you, I don't know. She's probably going to wake up soon because, you know, she's actually alive. Okay, maybe we splash some water in her face and we try to talk some reason into her. Reason? She was going to call the cops on us and that was before you donked her on the head. Good point. So, what then? I think we should just go through with the original plan. Get this dickhead to his car, and then take her phone and find her keys so she doesn't do anything crazy. Like drag her corpse across the lawn? Exactly. Once he's, you know, dealt with and out of our hair, then we can come back here and calmly talk to her. Okay, I like this. Do you think, uh... What? Should we tie her up? I don't think she'd be too into that. Okay, you would know. You would know? Hey, I was with her for a couple of months. You two were together for two years. I don't know what weird you two were into. You didn't ask? Ew, no. Look, I don't, I don't think I knew anything real about her at all. I didn't know she was into chicks. She wasn't. I'm just that alluring. Apparently. Okay, come on. Yep, that's Bernie him. Get her keys and phone first. Oh, right. Come on. Ow! Woo! Okay. Oh, 
hopefully no more surprise guests. Oh, I shouldn't have invited your parents. <laughs> Look, right up there. That's his car. Where? By the mailbox. Check him this time. Looks like you really got him this time. Right. So it's me now. Yeah, see how it feels? I guess we just... Onwards and upwards. Just grab his feet. Okay. Oh, actually, let me check something. What? I knew it! Leave those there. What? <gasps> what a flying dick nose. Um, give that to me. Why? We have to leave it here. There's tracking on the GPS. Alright, alright. Fine. Okay. Oh, smart. Yeah, that's me. What happened to all your SUV training? SVU. Alright, come on, we gotta get back. She could be awake. Wait a second. What? You called him Gary. I did? Yeah. No, I, I said Jeremy. It just sounds like Gary. Don't you lie to me. What the hell is going on, Ben? I don't know what I said. I was in a panic. You're such a sh liar. Just like the time that you told me that you watered my plants and when I came back they were dry as Judy Dench's cooch. And she said something about a plan. All right, Yasmina, I'll, I'll tell you everything, I promise. But we gotta get back inside now. already said that. Come on, we have to find her. 10-4. She's not here. Oh, her car's still here. Good. Yeah, because I have her keys, she grassy ties in. Oh, right. Duh. Kira! Come on, come back! Shh, you're gonna scare her away. It's a little late for that, don't you think? She's obviously already scared. Kira, come on. We just want to talk to you. Come back. Yeah, 
uh, babe, we can work this out. Anything? Nada. She could be anywhere by now. Amazing. We have to get back inside. Come on, just in case she... I don't know, but we gotta get our story straight. Come on. She could have went to the next neighbors over by now and gotten a hold of the police. We have to get our story straight. Yeah, you just said that. Okay. What if, okay, what if we say that she came here because she was jealous that no, 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 wait. She thought that you were... No, no, no. That I was... I think we should just tell the truth. Yeah, because you're so good with the truth. It's the only thing that will actually get us out of this. That we killed this dude? It was an accident, and hello, he attacked us. And we were high. That was hours ago, and I'm stone cold Steve Austin sober right now. Yeah, but it stays in your system for like 24 hours and can still be detected. You should know that. Okay, then fine. So what? My job finds out and I get fired. I don't give a hot shit about that anymore. What about Kira? You bashed her head in. But that's just her word against ours. Both of ours. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We can say that she came here, you guys got into a fight about what to do with Germ. I mean, that part we can stick to the truth. And then we can say you were scuffling around and you fell and she hit her head. Yeah. That's... Decent. We just have to be on the same page. Looks like we finally agree about something. What? Okay. Now it's your turn. What the f was really going on with Jeremy? <sighs> Alright, Yaz. I'll tell you, but... You have to promise not to be mad at me. All right. When I had the idea to come up here to break up once and for all, kind of had an ulterior motive. Do tell. I was thinking that maybe this could be a last-ditch effort to save the relationship. Go on. I knew we wouldn't be able to just talk it out I had to do something drastic. Oh, Jesus, Ben, can you just spit it out? I thought if something happened where I had to save you, it would prove my value to you. Then you'd want to be with me. Like, really be with me. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for calling me back. Um, so, my girlfriend and I are heading upstate today. And, um, yeah, I know it's short notice, that's why I um, suggested a call. Um, just to see if uh, you're available and um, if you wanted a gig. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it pays a, a bit. <laughs> um, so, this is going to sound a little insane, but what I need you to do is I need you to drive up to the cabin that we're going to be at. And um, you're going to come to the door. You're going to pretend, I'm going to pretend like I don't know who you are, um, but you're going to say that your car's broken down and that your phone's dead or something like that. You need to borrow one of our phones. Um, then you can come inside and uh, like turn on the charm, you know, you talk to my girlfriend and I, then you can kind of start like hitting on her. And then there's a beat shift when you turn psycho and you're going to like kind of attack her. Well, yeah, and then I I'm going to stop you before you get to her and... Yeah, like, exactly, like that stage combat class we took, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, it, it's it's basically like a, a prank um, on her. So, do you, yeah, um, I can 
I can give you 200 bucks. I'll, I'll Venmo it to you. Just send me your uh, account, and um, uh, you know, I'll send you all the details, and I'll, I'll get your gas too, and any tolls, whatever. Oh, thank you so much, Gary. Yeah, that's no, I, you're thank you. <laughs> um, all right, great. Let's uh, let's go over the plan one more time. So, you went looking for a psychotic on Task Rabbit. No. It this guy, yes, Gary, he was in my acting class. He always said no job was too small, so I contacted him, said I'd give him 200 bucks if he came here and pretended to attack you. Then I was just gonna kind of like knock him out. You pick some random actor from your class to fake attack me. He was always the best in improv. Oh my god, you're telling me that we killed an innocent person. Well, not that innocent. What do you mean, Brittany? I mean that when he regained consciousness before, he was really gonna hurt you. Couldn't you see that? Yeah, he did have legit psycho eyes. I mean, he did answer a little too eagerly when I, when I asked him if he had a knife. And what was up with that monologue that he did? All right, anyway, I just wasn't anticipating you him. You thought I couldn't protect myself. No, I just... I just wanted to be the goddamn hero for once. I guess you're not that bad of an actor after all. But wait, why did you have us do all that coke if you knew this whole performance was about to go down? Okay, first off, you were the one who did all that coke. All right, look, I just, I honestly feel that we're more open with each other when we're on mood-altering drugs. The hallmark of any healthy relationship. The plan was just that once he regained consciousness, then he was just gonna like run out like he was scared of me. And I thought that if we were high, then it would deter you from calling the cops on him. I mean, I guess that part of the plan worked out pretty well. Ben, you are mental. Completely. I just... I just wasn't ready to let you go. Wow, I can't believe you did all this for me. You are a f maniac. Pen. Uh, call it <coughs> ambulance. Kira, Kira, unlock the phone. Kira, unlock the goddamn phone! No. It's too late. Why did you do that?
he was coming for you. He had you trapped. You, you said it, that he was crazy. He hired some guy to come and attack you. I mean, he, he was going to hurt you, right? I couldn't really hear, but I saw him coming at you. He, He's the one who hit me, right? Ismina? It's okay. You were protecting me. I, I love you, yes. I love you too, Kira. Ben and Kiara are already here. They're having an argument. This jilted lover, Gary, comes in. Some heated words are exchanged. Ben chucks the bottle, kills Gary. Kira freaks out. She attacks Ben. Ben fights back. They both get fatal blows in. Yeah? Yeah, that works. Timeline won't match. Think there's some leeway with time of death. Ben. Wish I had your SVU knowledge right now.
Well, aren't you fancy? Gary gives Kira a write-up. Kira comes in, confronts Ben. Ben and Kira fight. No, no, no. Kira comes in, confronts Ben. They have a fight, yes. Gary comes in. Ben chocks the bottle. Kira and Ben fight to the death. And then Kira's car is just found in front of her place like it never left. Yes, that'll do, Peg. I think you were right. This was the only way to end things. stars. What the f